Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hopefully you're all doing alright and had a nice day. I, um, I might have had a Facebook ban, but that's given me some time to work on this bird box. And um, I've managed to just finish that now, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I thought I'd just show it to you. So um, I did, did try one way, but I wasn't entirely happy with it. So I ordered a couple of bits and pieces and um, yeah, as you'll see, it worked out alright actually in the end. So <clears throat> obviously I needed to find a way of getting the GoPro to set up in here. Um, and it's quite snug, so it's 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 quite small in there um, to try and get everything in. So I came up with a few ideas, tried them, wasn't happy, and in the end I um, had the idea that I could just get some Velcro and see if I could give that a go. Um, so I got some proper Velcro, it's kind of the industrial stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's three strips. So one, two, three, going back. Um, and if once I've left that for 24 hours, um, it'll strengthen up as well, so that's good. And it's um, I've tried and tested it, so it's all working. So, you can probably see the Velcro in there as well. So you might be wondering what I'm going to have done then. So, the idea was is that I want to be able to leave this for a long time. Um, especially doing time lapses, things like that. Um, doing video as well. So I need to get a power bank in there, as you know. So my power bank that you saw probably in the picture before was quite big. So in the end, I decided that I would go for um, a smaller, slimmer slimmer one that would fit nicely at the back there. Um, and then as soon as I had that idea, everything else just fell into place. So um, I will show you what I ended up doing. So again, you've got those three, three strips there, and they're all sort of measured out into the right place. And I'll push Push that to one side. And bring this one in. So, um, yeah. so you've got um, the power bank there, which is a new one I've just bought. Um, and it's big. It's 26,000 um, MHA, I think. So this on a time lapse, you could probably leave it for days, if I'm honest. Um, on the video, it's going to last the entire time that, until my memory card is full. Um, when you're recording sort of 4K, it's only a few hours on a, even a huge memory card. So um, it's more for time lapses. I'd definitely be able to leave this for an entire day somewhere. Um, I could probably leave the whole thing even like in a hedgerow, you know, when you sort of see those little entrances in the hedge where you know a fox or something's walking through. So I could probably leave, leave it there overnight and stuff. So I'm going to give that a go. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I put the three strips on there. Uh, and that matches up with the three strips in the box, which I've measured. Um, so as you can imagine, the battery is going to sit there. And it's going to be wedged into that Velcro. <coughs> so now it's a question of how am I going to house this this GoPro and have it so that it's not too far back in the box. Um, it's not too far... Um, forward in the box so it doesn't get wet. Uh, it's not too high so that it doesn't get the roof in the picture and then likewise not too low so that you don't get the wood in the picture there so I had to fit around for ages of all the stuff that I've got and um, eventually I came up with this idea uh, and it's just basically yeah, like a clip um, but you can do all sorts with it and you can turn it around and do things like that <coughs> all sorts of stuff and then GoPro just screws in there and then that gives you movement so as you can see I've got quite a bit of um, movement there already which is kind of what I needed. So I did some measuring out and stuff like that. And um, I figured out that I could just put it all together in one piece and then put it into the into the bird box. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So on the other side of the battery, I've got these two strips there. And this is where I started basically. And then I've got the two, two strips on the bottom of that clip. And <clears throat> so I'm just going to stick that on there. Let me move that one. That's there. Velcro tape, by the way. <clears throat> so if I pop that there, what I've got to do is basically line it up. So um, I put it slightly off centre. So I'll show you why in a minute. Because I've got to put the battery in there. So I'm just literally going to put those those two together there. It's a bit hard for me to see what you can see on that, on my phone, but yeah. So I'm just going to do that. And even though it's off centre a bit, it's already already more than strong enough to to hold the GoPro there, as you can see. Uh, and then, so that now gives me that movement. Right, so that's going to sit there. And then, <clears throat> obviously, it's going to need to be plugged into this power bank. 
and you can see that I've got slots along there for USB cables uh, you can plug in two or three things at once or whatever um, and then in this case I'm just going to plug in the, the one uh, GoPro um, so then I went to get a USB cable and I realized if I had one that, that went into the side there like that that it would just hit the side of the bird box and you just end up bending the cable um, so that was a bit frustrating uh, but luckily I, what I found online is one of these <clears throat> So it's just a USB cable, but you can see that bit there is a right angle. <clears throat> see it better like that. So it's just gonna <clears throat> obviously tuck in nicely. So I've just got it there. <clears throat> this isn't the official GoPro door, but you can get get these GoPro doors that <clears throat> excuse me that I've got like a, a hole inside there. Let's see if you can see it. There you go. Um, and you can then put a USB cable in and it's pretty much watertight. Um, that's how I'm able to leave it out on the window ledge to get those uh, time lapses in the rain. And I can just leave it there all day and it never really seems to get wet. I've got to the point now where I've had the GoPro quite a long time so I risk it a little bit more now. I know I've, I've had it out there in the pouring rain all day and it's absolutely fine. So yeah, as you can see, that's going to tuck in now really nicely. It's going to be nice and flush. And that's going to go in there and then... <clears throat> Just gonna want to get rid of some of this excess cable now. So what I'm gonna do is just thread that through. It's a bit hard for you to see, I know. I'm just gonna thread it through that gap. So I'm just gonna go through there. Like that. And then uh, that'll come round here and then sit nicely in the first of these slots here. Like that. Uh, so it's going to be that way up. Alright, so that's what we're getting there. So now you can see I've got the battery, I've got the GoPro sat on the battery quite nicely, and I've got it plugged in. And <laughs> I had to remember to have this at the bottom because obviously if it was at the top, it would just hit the, the roof and I would start bending all the cables. Um, so I'll <clears throat> bring this over. And I realised as long as I shut this down for now, then I can slot this whole thing in now in one go and it's it is snug but it's, it's almost good that it's snug so just bear with me because it's a bit hard when I'm trying to do it so that you can see right. so it's going to go all the way to the back like that <clears throat> get it seated nicely there we go so that's now on those three strips underneath like that And then you can see the cable's not going to come out the bottom there. It's almost perfect actually, just by chance. Just sit, just sit in here, <clears throat> um, and that can stay like that. And what's great is I can even plug in the charger here now, so I could bring it in the house if I want to charge this battery. I don't even need to take it out now. I could just pop it down, plug in the charger, and leave it there, and it will stay on that felt crew. <clears throat> but then if we watch and then turn it up, right? It's just. Amazing that it came out so well, really. Sometimes things do, don't they, by chance? Um, and then pop it up, and there it is. So I appreciate this. It's quite hard for you to see. Try and move it. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, so you can see in there now. That's it. That's right, all just on the Velcro. And, like, obviously, in this whole time, you're not hearing it, you know, tug on that Velcro at all, so that's good. Um, and it is, it is perfect, so it's just inside. Um, Bend it forward just inside enough there that the rain will pour off, and it's just inside on the sides enough so that it's not going to get water on it too much. Um, but it's far enough out, likewise, that I can sort of change the angle of it um, because I wanted to be able to look up a little bit. But I'm, this isn't really for sky watching, this is going to be for the garden, so I wanted it more to look forwards and down. Um, so you can see now it's looking forwards, all right. So I'll just hold it there. I can pull that forward a bit. Like that. And then you can sort of see that it's leaning down nicely. And then I can pop it back again. Just got that little bit of leverage on there to play around with. And you can see it's quite quite nice and discreet as well. It's all tucked in really well. Yeah, so it worked out really well. And then uh, I've just got the door that goes on the bottom there and I'll put this little little pin in because I've got this little locking pin here that came with it. 
So I just hammered in that little nail. And it goes in there like that. And then just turn that onto there to lock it. And then there we go. All finished now. So I'm just gonna leave it now for 24 hours because it said the adhesive on the back of the Velcro strips um, sort of solidifies overnight, it gets stronger, um, almost three or four times stronger, I think. So I'm not gonna fiddle around with it today now, plus we're losing, losing the sunlight outside. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. So one thing you guys don't see, actually, um, I can't show you because I'm recording this on my phone. So you would think, well, how am I gonna operate the camera now? You know, it's stuck in there, can't do much. But actually what I can do is connect my phone via the GoPro app to that camera. Um, and it's just via a Wi-Fi. And as long as that camera stays turned on, I can walk away from that Wi-Fi and go back onto the Wi-Fi in the house for internet. And then when I come back out in the garden later, I can come back out and just reconnect to it where I am, just as long as the GoPro is still on, which obviously with the battery is gonna stay on now. Um, and like I said, a time lapse that could be sat there for eight or nine hours in the summer, um, doing a time lapse with no problems at all. Um, but yeah, so when I connect it up, the view that you're seeing now, um, in the GoPro app, I have a little window and so I can see what the camera can see. And obviously, uh, when I first have a go at this and, you know, I've got it pointing towards something like that, I'll connect up with my phone, um, and I'll try and record my screen so you can kind of see what I mean, but it's, it is pretty fun. I use it all the time, especially for taking, um, pictures at night at the stars because obviously you need to hold it still and that way I don't even need to touch it when I take a picture I can just do the long exposures um, but yeah the app's really good I can stop recording and change it to time lapse so I can change the resolution the color the brightness contrast all sorts of stuff basically you can just do everything you can do on that back of that screen there um, you can do on the app on the fly so that's um, really useful and uh, I wouldn't have done this if I if the app wasn't available um, but yeah, it's been around for years and um, it's something that both myself and, and Dan use all the time as well with this GoPro. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that. And then uh, once I find somewhere to put it, then uh, I'll give it, give it a go and just leave it while I'm working or something like that. And then uh, see if I can edit some footage together and show you what it's like. But yeah, pretty pleased. Really happy with it. Looks pretty cool, huh? Cheers.